Hello guys, welcome to the Hype Prediction. In this video, we are going to create a simple animation throughout the BiPair in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max and I just need to go to the biped and I will draw the biped from the center point of our viewport. Here uh, now I'll see this. Uh, this is the structure, basic structure or skeleton of a human skeleton. And these are the joints. We can move their la legs uh, and uh, as well we, sh uh, we can see their joints, their bones, their head. We can move it, rotate it and we can rotate their hands. We can give the positions uh, any pose throughout the biped. You can rotate their chest, you can lift their legs. That's good. So as you can see that how can we use this from the poses, from the rotations, positions and this is the main point. It's the diamond inside of this. This is the main position of this diamond you can you cannot move it until you select this diamond if you select this diamond so you can move this otherwise you cannot move this now i'll go to the motion panel and here if i'll select this one so i can see their parameters so first of all we have this figure mode uh, if i open this figure mode and i'll sorry I will click on this so you can see there's a menu of structure and uh, there are four types of it is a male one uh, just for the male figure female figure and the third one is classic which is the cartoonic figure uh, this is the classic figure uh, to use for the cartoons animations so for the timing I'm gonna go to the skeleton the basic one and you can see there's a one, only one finger we can remove, but uh, if I'll go to the figure mode, so I'll find out the fingers and I will increase the values of fingers as five fingers and also the links of the fingers, which is three links. So these are my fingers and the same thing I'm gonna do with this toe, the fingers of foot, I will increase five toes right and the three joints or three links so you can move them so it will move everything so now furthermore what am i gonna do i'm just gonna try to create some basic animations for that purpose i'm gonna go to the right viewport the right one and uh, I will select my time configuration is 40 frame basically it's on 100 frames but I have decreased this frame rate uh, as 40 frames so from the zero I'll go to the auto key and turn on the auto key and now I will select this leg the left one remember the blue one the left leg I'll, oh sorry this is the error that he is asking me to come out from the figure mode and I'm still in the figure mode, so I will go back and find out this one. I'm turning off this. Now, after turning off the figure mode, we can easily rotate our leg. So I will move my leg in this positions. Yes, and I will rotate the toe as well, this. Now that's it's kind of a running position this star mm -hmm. so perfect and uh, I'll select the middle one this diamond and I will rotate this entire skeleton like this also I will put the position downside and now I'll select this green foot which is the right one and make it a little bit on top like this more down and the foot has to be 
set like this. So this is the basic position of my legs. So now I'll think about my hands as well. If the left side, left foot or left leg on the back side, so the right left hand will be on front side. So now I have just uh, placed my hand, one is front and one is from the back and rotate as well. That's some sort of joints like this. That's perfect. What am I going to do? I have this position. I will select entire skeleton. I will on these all the four options and then I will come down in there. Set the key here. Perfect. Come down inside and also you can find out this is the create collection and now I will copy this pose come down on the 40th frame and paste the same pose that means my I will come to the center the 20th frame I will paste paste a pose opposite it means on the zero there's a key on the 40 there's a key and in the middle of it also the key so let's see this is the movement So now I will select the entire structure once again. On this 40th frame, now I'll come to the center of it, 10th frame. Okay. On the 10th frame, I'm gonna set my this left leg on the front because it was on the behind uh, in the starting. So on the 10th frame, it will go to the front like this. and this leg has to be more up perfect and the hand has to be on front like this on the top and uh, this hand has to be on back like this that's perfect i will select my diamond inside of it here there's a diamond select one a little bit on the top this have you seen this that's i will select the entire one come back to the menus set the key then copy this post post perfect and come to the 30th frame and paste post opposite so let's see that's that's and this one but one thing make sure that we need to select the diamond and make more on the top the jump Well, that's perfect. Now he is running with the jump. But there's a one thing I am feeling the difference that these legs are moving and their hands are moving. But body has a diff body is static, like their chest is static and their head is static. So I think we should work on it as well. So this is the this running is okay for the basic purpose, but I will also add some little bit move little movement. So I'm gonna Go to the 10th frame and here I will rotate my this bone and also select this one and the bones of chest as well by manually this little bit rotate that's perfect here it is should we rotate like this again i'm going to copy and select all of them set the copy and go to the 30th frame and paste up pose it yes that's 
that's a perfect also we will have to retouch we will have to retouch their chest bone as well it's a little bit, little bit like this little rotation that's perfect same thing select all of them also select the head like this rotate now select all of them go to their parameters find out copy and come to the 30th frame paste opposite so now you can see their heads are moving their bones are moving their legs and hands everything are moving so i'm gonna go to the time configuration i'm gonna reset the face reskill the time it's 20th frame so 20th frame it will speedy and it will running so fast like this well it looks outstanding but it still has some errors so for the time being it's good uh, for the basic animation and i would like to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this subscribe to my channel press the bell icon thank you so much